Thank you for watching. This is my second pen video. We'll be looking at the Pilot Petite One pen. There's the three of them in the middle of this picture. This is a recent purchase I made from a Hong Kong supplier, Pokey Daddy. A very good pricing, uh, quick delivery, reasonable shipping charges. These are the six uh, Petite Ones currently in my collection. The bottom one is the blue version filled with Noodler's Base State Grape. And above that is the baby pink and then the apple green, the red version, orange apricot. And now we're going to look at a few of these pens uh, close up. The first one is the baby pink pilot one. Um, I'm very impressed with the quality control and how all the pens uh, write very well and work very well. And uh, the plastic is uh, very clear. Uh, the color on the clip matches the color on the barrel. I uh, will not be using the cartridges inside. Now we're going to take a look at apricot orange. Um, again, I, I like the attention to detail that the pens have. The little facets inside the barrel are nice. And again, as you can see, the barrel and the clip match and the cap is clear. And also so is the section and feed. And as we rotate around, you can see the designation AO for apricot orange. And now we'll take a look at a third pen in this series. This one is the apple green. And again, it shows off uh, the details and the color. It looks good in the sunlight. Uh, <clears throat> all the pens um, write very well. And that's a good uh, consistent quality that Pilot is known for and, and these pens exemplified. And uh, for $3 a pen, uh, I don't think anyone can go wrong. Now we're going to take a little bit more of a close-up view of one filled with ink. A few weeks ago, um, I decided that I would uh, fill one of these and use it as an eyedropper. And uh, the ink that I picked was uh, Noodler's uh, Base State Grape. Uh, Base State has a bad reputation of not working well with pens, clogging pens, cracking plastic. But uh, so far, this pen has shown uh, no serious impact from the ink. As you can see, uh, it is a unique feed uh, that Pilot uses in these pens. It's like more like a capillary action. And uh, later on in the video, we'll show you how that actually fills with ink. And the facets look good with the ink inside. Now we're going to compare uh, the pen that I filled with ink with one that does not have ink in it, just to show you the transparency and how the ink fills the uh, feed and, and section. Uh, you know, it just, uh, just works very, very well, and uh, it makes for a pen that's good to write with, with a lot of ink supply to last a long time. Now we're going to compare the uh, Pilot 1 against the pen it's probably most compared to is the Stipula Paparazzi, or Passporte. Here's a look at their dimensions. The Pilot is actually slightly bigger um, in a few aspects, length and, and uh, section. Now we look at them... Uh, capped and posted uh, my paparazzi. The Now's the time to take a look at what it's like to um, fill one of these pens, uh, use it as an eyedropper. I'm going to take the black model. Uh, the ink I want to put in here is going to be Noodler's Black, Heart of Darkness Black. I think is a good color for this type of pen. You remove the uh, cartridge that they uh, give you. And uh, of course, the traditional silicone grease, which is nice and clear and, and works well to seal the threads. I decided to, to not use uh, any type of uh, O-ring. Uh, the previous one of these I used as an eyedropper uh, sealed very well and has not leaked. So I'm gonna do the same thing with this pen. I'm very generous with the silicone grease. There's no reason to spare it. I want to make certain that the seal is complete. Obviously, when you're done, put the cap back on and set it aside. And now we need to uh, bring the ink over. And, of course, we need to set the uh, section down, or the, the cap down, so we can fill the barrel. As I mentioned, we're using Noodler's uh, Heart of Darkness 
Uh, I think this is an excellent black ink. I've been using it for a while now and in a number of different pens, and it works well in every pen. And it is uh, the uh, dark of black ink as I've ever used. No shading of gray or blue or any other color in there except black. Uh, the traditional, uh, very unique and uh, well-designed label that Noodler puts on all their inks. This one is a three-ounce bottle, which comes with an eyedropper, and I also got some uh, Pilot uh, pens with it. Uh, we're going to fill this basically up to where the threads stop. Um, I want to just give it a good fill. You know, Hopefully, it'll be a long time before I'll need to refill the pen. I'm going to just do the last couple drops just to bring it right up to the bottom of the threads. Once that's done, we will cap the bottle of ink and be cautious, put it aside, and we'll bring the section in. Uh, it's been um, liberally um, lubricated with silicone grease, and we're going to uh, screw it together. Um, and when we're done, we're just going to make certain that it's uh, nice and tight. You know, one last little turn. And now we're going to witness one of the unique characteristics of this pen is you can watch it, uh, the ink flow into the section and into the nib through capillary action. They have some type of absorbent material in there. So we're going to turn it around and let the ink uh, do its thing. And obviously uh, the uh, Noodler's black ink will show up very well uh, in, this, uh, in this lighting and in this type of pen. It's flowing down the section now. Then it's going to fill the feed and the back of the nib. Yeah, as you can see, it, uh, it's a pretty quick action. Uh, eventually, it'll probably fill more of the fins in the section. But right now, this is uh, this pen's ready to write. So uh, let's uh, grab our Rhodia dot pad and um, take a look at how it writes. So this is the first time uh, this pen is written. I haven't done any cleaning or anything to it. We need to cap it. Uh, it's obviously a little bit short to try to write with without the cap. With the cap, it's uh, quite a nice length. As you can see, it fits well in the hand. Uh, the obligatory um, writing sample will uh, put down the uh, name of the pen. Let me see the uh, Pilot Petite One. And this is the black version. And we filled it with uh, Newler's Heart of Darkness. Um, I've always had a, a, a soft spot for black ink, and, and I've had my challenges with inks that uh, really don't uh, are, are not true blacks, but this one uh, does it well. And this is an extremely smooth writer. It, it feels as, as good as any pen I've ever written with uh, as far as smoothness on the paper. Uh, the ink flow is excellent. There's no skipping. There's no hard starting. Uh, anytime you want to write with it, it writes immediately. Um, and it's always a consistent line. It lays down a pretty uh, good, dense patch of ink. And we'll do our count to five and do a swipe. And as you can see, filled with Heart of Darkness wrote right from the start. And you saw how the capillary action filled the feed and wet the nib. So this is one that I filled a few weeks ago. And I used um, Noodler's uh, Base State Grape which is a base state ink which has a bad reputation but it works very well in this pen and our two Dalmatians have come out to see what I'm doing so why don't we uncap this and post it so it becomes a length that you can write with and let's uh, give this one the paces so this is the Pilot Petite 1 and I think this was the blue and this is Noodler's Base State Grape. I like it because it's not quite a purple, not really a blue. It really looks like grape. Again, the nib is very smooth. Um, it just glides across the paper. Of course, this is a Rhodia dot pad. Uh, classic 80 grams. Um, again, it's a steel nib, so there's really no flex. I mean, you can squeeze a few bit out of it, but it's not worth the effort. And it lays down a, a good patch of ink. 
We'll count to five. One, two, three, four, five. Um, the base state grape dries pretty quickly, as does the Heart of Darkness, even on this uh, non-absorbent paper. So I appreciate you watching the video. And my neighbor set his alarm. So with that, we'll call this the end. And a very big thank you.